So, this kid decided it would be a good idea while the computer was running to unplug his video card and plug it back in. So, now we're going to look at this and figure out just how badly he messed up. All right, let's get this off of here. We're gonna take some time and go through basically each component here to see potentially the damage that he did. Cause there's a good chance he did some pretty serious damage. Yeah. All right, so this is also an interesting feature. There's a good chance he did not he did no damage, but there's also a chance he did a bunch of damage. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna find out. The other thing that's interesting to me is that the clip for the PCI slot is completely missing. All right, first things first, let's see if let's see if we're getting any video out of the motherboard. Alright, already not off to a good start. Alright, now we gotta isolate what the actual problem is. Uh, the, the per how did it get pulled? Well, the person said he was having trouble with the computer, so while it was running, he decided to unplug it and plug it back in to make it run better. In hindsight, probably a terrible idea. In actuality, it was a terrible idea. So, now we get to, we're gonna disassemble this. We're going to check each part, and we're gonna figure out exactly what entirely went wrong and Kind of go from there. I like this case though. This is actually not a bad case. Who makes this? This is a cyber power case. Very interesting. I guess let's start by testing the power supply. This is a relatively small form factor. Let's see if this is actually gonna work. I don't know if I have enough room to get my tester in here. Come on. There we go. Uh, I checked the GPU by plugging in another one and plugging this into another computer. So I, I have another computer here I can plug this into. All right, so let's check, first and foremost, power. We have power. So. Yeah, power supply, no errors. So we know we're good there. Let's... Let me get this, the front of this case off. My only concern is that it's screwed in. No, it's not screwed in, is it? That comes off. That comes off. Oh, this thing's got a little LED. This will be something I'll end up having to address at some point. He's getting this floating fan actually attached to something. It's actually not a problem, like in reality, but like, definitely could be. We're gonna test it on the bench. And we're literally just gonna put it on here and see what, see what happens. CPU isn't connected to anything. Or CPU fan, excuse me. That is going to be a pain in the butt to put back together. So we know the power supply is working at this point, so let's set that to the side. All right, let's just visually looking at it, I'm not seeing anything that is a problem. This is a problem. I wonder how long that's been like that. Right, let's just take a second and up a little bit so we can get a little bit better view. Get the thermal paste off of here so we can figure out what CPU this is. It's an AMD, that's for sure. This is a Ryzen 5 3600. Not a bad CPU. Good little cheapy CPU build. This is a B450i. Let's grab my testing power supply, which I should really like figure out some sort of system so I can keep it up there as I need it. 
anything different here. So we're getting like nothing. All right, time to do some probing. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check to see if anything is blown here. All right, so this should be shielded and grounded. This is metal here, so we can create a closed circuit there. Should be getting something off of these guys. One side of these things should be grounded. Something on this motherboard is dead. This is where a nice little voltage injector would be nice. All right, let's, let's pop a look under the microscope. My voltage checks are coming back fine, or for my resistance. Well, that could be a problem, literally right there. Pretty sure there's supposed to be a capacitor right there. Not a capacitor, a diode. Yeah, there's there's a component missing there. Yep, 100%. That's what it is. All right. So. All right. There we go. Now I got a circle. There is supposed to be a diode there. If you're missing that, that thing, you're kind of SOL. And those are replaceable. I could just pull another one off of a motherboard. The problem is I don't know... I don't have the one the space to work in there because let me see if I have anything. See, I have some here that that might just work. All right, so we're gonna try and take one of these off the board. Preferably, I'd like to take this one. So that's what I'm going to shoot for there. Now you can barely see this on here. All right, so. Yeah, we'll try this. Flux on there. So that came off. diode this might be too small yeah it's too small and I got it off successfully Should probably store this someplace right. I think we're closer to this size it would actually it would have to be one of these maybe one of these that looks closer still looks too small Let's grab a little bit larger one, maybe. Like, I need to get some of those, like, they have ones, like, I'm sure you've seen them, the needle ones. So, the thing is, the one right next to it is a 74 ohm, or a 75 ohm. So, I would be guessing at what this, what this one is supposed to be. I am not, like... How do I put this? I'm not attempting to make this a permanent fix. I am attempting to put a, to put something there just to see if that causes electricity to flow through the board again. So I'm not actually trying to quote unquote fix this because I'd have to find, I'd have to find the manual for it to find out what it's actually supposed to be. Right now, my biggest hurdle is finding a, finding one that's the same size all right, let's just try one of these. Let's try that one.
All right, we got it. Now, see, we got it on. We got it there. Let's see if she's too small again. Well, that looks about right. I think we're good. Yeah. That's on there. My concern right now is that one side is on but the other side is not. I have I really have no way of getting in closer. Oh yeah, that's that's on there. Nice. Alright. Moment of truth. Like, I'm 99% sure this isn't going to work, but, you know, it's always that 1% chance, right? I fixed it. I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> it actually worked! My only concern is this being, like, a really shallow connection that I've made. So that, like, when I actively try and... Like, once it starts getting a load through it, it eventually will die again. That's my concern. All right, well, let's see what happens. We have life. All right, so right now we're saying, it's saying no VGA. Just like this thing doesn't have the, doesn't have its clip. Got there, we have fans. I'm getting nada out of this thing. All right. So, that is working, but I have to check this with a direct HDMI connection instead of the going through the display capture. I think this, I think this kid killed this, this card. We are stuck on VGA right now. Oh, I'm still trying to get this computer to work. So I've got the motherboard working, which is, you know, amazing. Something I didn't expect myself to do today was actually fix a motherboard. Yet, here we are. Problem is, this kid has no idea how much damage he actually caused. He thought it would just be okay. Back to, back to the microscope. Yeah, it was dirt. That's the first thing that I saw. I was like, ah, is that just dirt? I just I didn't want to get this back plate off so I can get a good look underneath the back plate. That doesn't look good. Oh, it's an LED, that's why. Yeah, it sucks, but um, he's going to end up getting a new video card. I'm not seeing anything specifically wrong, and I am not like without like doing voltage injection or something i'm not i'm not gonna find what's wrong with this board like going through this every single something is blown somewhere because every single component is re is like reading to ground on both sides of the component so something on this board has died so yeah i think this kid's sol because like i said i'm not going through and hunting this thing down so just like, just for my own edification here, cause it's been, like I said, it's been a long time since I've actively done this. When I'm, when I'm testing this, every component over here is, is reading as a ground. That's bad, right? So like on both sides of a, of a resistor, it's reading ground. All four prongs 
of this, of like one of these chi these, these guys is reading as a ground. So I would not be getting continuity to these parts. So I should find some place where I don't get a beep? That doesn't make sense. So here, I guess let me ask you this, because again, you're you're my expert right now. So this guy right here. This guy, yeah. So if I go to ground, which is where I have my, my negative probe. Should I get a tone on both sides of this or just a single side? Because in my understanding, it should always only be a single side to allow electricity to flow in a single direction. All right, so same thing over on this side. If I hit this side and I hit this side, I have, I have a tone on both. God, I wish I, I wish I remembered this better. So is this normal or is the other way normal? Because I feel like this is wrong. Yeah, I can't remember either. I feel like I shouldn't be able to get a tone on both of these. Uh, I already replaced the missing component, but this could, there definitely could be missing components on this. Because like, this is the same, like, so this, this guy here, like, I don't think I should be able to do that. So this allows it to flow in a single direction, which makes sense. But then again, these might just be freaking resistors. So what do we got here? So 57 ohms that direction, 69 in the other. Short, short, short. Like I, the problem is like there's too many components for me to, to go through to find where this short actually is. So, but yeah, it looks like when he tried to put it in there, he he got it here on the board and just scraped it that way. So, and this is why we keep old motherboards around so that uh, we can salvage components off of them. So, positive. The positive news about this is that we were able to save the motherboard. The negative news is we're not able to save the, the GPU. So it's a, it's a win-lose kind of day. So the, the dad of this just came in and he, so we're just gonna order a 3060 Ti to put in here and call it a, call it a day. So let me get this all put back together and yeah kids getting a pretty decent video card upgrade and we just we pray that this keeps holding on okay let's put this computer back together and i need to order 3060 ti for this kid he's getting quite an upgrade i am so proud of myself for this for for doing this soldering stuff it's been so long since I've actively done it. Yeah, this is this is a nice little. I, you know what? This is. I will be. I will give like Cyber Power like the due that they are like deserving of. Like the way they packaged this thing, I'm actually okay with. Because this is a Cyber Power. Oh, I see why this is like this. This is the wrong fan. Bro, what the hell? This is a Ryzen 5 3600. All right, we're gonna end up putting the right size CPU in the CPU fan in this thing. Yeah, I know this thing like, this thing runs like hot, I'm sure. I'm not saying like melt components hot, but it's getting toasty for sure. Hey, thanks for watching that video. Uh, you can check out some of the other videos for more tech related content. And if you want to catch me live, I am on Twitch at twitch.tv specvengeance Monday through Friday from 9am to 5pm Eastern Standard Time. 
Uh, so come hang out, chat, and maybe learn a thing or two. Thanks for watching.